you are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Good morning, dear friends. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona, Rochester, and I welcome you to this televised liturgy. And you who have no money, come drink in gladness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, in communion with the Holy Spirit, be with all of you. And with your spirit. I'm Father Jerry Mann from the Co-Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist in Rochester, and I'm delighted to be with you uh, this morning, joining the larger and broader community. We're always mindful of God's love and care and the surprise of how God meets us and visits us as we call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, you're a son of God and son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the bread of life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you lead us to the Father in the surprise of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you will eat well. You shall delight in the rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The eyes of all look hopefully to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. 
The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The hand of the Lord feeds us, he answers all our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor present things nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, this is a deserted place and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, there's no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, five loaves and two fish are all we have here. And then he said, bring them to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied and they picked up the fragments left over, 12 wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So as we listen to uh, God's word mm, this morning, we hear first of all with the prophet Isaiah, reminding a people that had been at a distance from all that they loved and all that they knew. And he's really assuring them that the covenant is everlasting. So this invitation, come to the water, all who are thirsty, come and drink, come and eat, so that food and drink, such a sign of being cared for, such a sign of being loved, and the everlasting covenant is alive, even though there's been all of this captivity and estrangement. 
Also then, uh, we listen with Jesus, and he's learned that his dear friend, cousin, John the Baptist, has died. And so Jesus goes away to a deserted place, it says, to pray. And we can just imagine um, his grief, uh, fully human and fully God, and the tenderness of learning about the, the death of John the Baptist. But, you know, the Sea of Galilee is not so large, so they know where he has gone, and they go by foot uh, to meet him there. And they're asking for healing, for this same awareness that you are present, like what Isaiah reminds us. And there is this beautiful sense of being surprised because then he feeds them. And there is the miracle of the loaves and the fishes. So often a reminder of the beauty and wonder of the Eucharist, the bread of life. We need to be uh, conscious and aware and looking for surprises in our lives, especially during this time of the pandemic. So how is God visiting you? How is God visiting me in this way to assure us that God loves us, is present to us, brings healing? I give a short ex experience that I had uh, yesterday. About three years ago, I had a wedding of a couple. Uh, she was from Iraq and he was from Jordan. And so we got their families together uh, at the co-cathedral and we had the wedding and since they have really come and remained in the United States. They're living in Arizona. So they wanted to reconnect uh, with Zoom and we had a lovely conversation last night. And it was just such a sense of God being present, of God revealing, surprising me, and also me with them. And then they told me the exciting news that they're pregnant and uh, was part of the reason that they wanted uh, to call me and to connect with me. So Omar and Yasmin, we can be mindful of their presence in Arizona. And they talked, of, of course, about sheltering in and all the ways in which life has changed for them. Even though we are sheltered in, that we clearly can open our minds and hearts to the wonder and to the surprise of the presence of God in our lives and in our hearts. And we offer our Nicene Creed, I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, earth of, of all things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, believe I believe in one, in one Lord, Lord, Jesus Christ, the only, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, of God Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our, For our sake, sake he, was he was crucified, and Pontius under Pontius Pilate, Pilate he suffered he death and was buried, and, and rose, rose again on the third, on the third day. day. In, in accordance with the scriptures, scriptures he, ascended he ascended into heaven, into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He, he will come again in glory to judge, to judge the living and the dead, and, dead. and, and his, his kingdom will have no end. end. I, believe I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with, who the, with Father the Father and the Son is adored, is adored and glorified, and glorified who, who has spoken through the prophets. Through the prophets. I, believe I believe in one holy, holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic church. church. I, confess I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look, and I look forward, forward to the, to the resurrection, resurrection of the dead and the life of the world, of the world to come. come. Amen. Amen. We come to the Father, mindful of the needs of our own hearts and thinking of all of you at home, and also our sisters and brothers around the world. So we call to mind our entire world, and especially there are so many divided nations and troubled lands, and we beg that Christ can visit, can surprise, 
all those places that are yearning for new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We call to mind the Universal Catholic Church and Pope Francis, Bishop Quinn, all uh, of uh, the people who serve and who make such a difference in their way to care for sisters and brothers, the poor and those who have a longing to meet a presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We call to mind the sick and all of those who care for the sick and the gift of medicine and healing, especially those with COVID-19 and those who yearn and long for the healing hand of Christ, the compassionate one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We're mindful of all of you at home, and so we want to bring your needs that you carry in the silence of your hearts and uh, all of those people you want to remember and those who have asked you to pray for them, and we bring them to the loving face of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And mindful of all of our loved ones who have gone before us, Mark, with the sign of faith, especially maybe your um, friends or family or spouses and, or children, all those who have died, and those who are near death today, that they know a compassionate presence of a loving God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, we hear your call that we come when we are thirsty and hungry, that you feed us, that you um, quench our thirst with your healing presence. And mindful of all people, we come to you, Jesus, in the gift of the Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Why, O Lord, doth thy wrath wax hot against thy people? Turn from thy fierce wrath. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to whom thou swearest to give a land flowing with milk and honey. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself. That he came, that, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. To him the host of angels address your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis ut celi et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, 
qui venit in nomine Domini, Osana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always.
and with your spirit. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof. roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You gave us bread from heaven, O Lord, having in it all that is delicious, and the sweetness of every taste. Give ear, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable and utter hidden lessons of the past. You gave us bread from heaven, O Lord, having in it all that is delicious and the sweetness of every taste. Let us pray. A company with constant protection, O Lord, those who you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And every blessing for our dear friends watching this uh, TV Mass. And we connect with you. And we hope that you have a lovely day. And let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. The King's bright banners forward go. The Thank you for joining us for this Sunday's televised Mass. I hope it has brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. If this Mass has helped you or someone you know, please consider sending a donation to the address on the screen or by visiting our website at dowr.org and clicking the weekly mass icon. Thank you and God bless. The one the willing victim see self-sacrificed mankind to free.